Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Sorry, I catch a cold. Uh, it's my great honor to be invited to, to, to come here. So actually to witness the new birth of a new baby, the International New Town Day. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, present the connection and relationship between our, our friends in the Inti, Linda, and the, the city of Armia, the Guangming, and the Shenzhen, and China. So it's a kind of a fantastic relationship between our two sides. So I would like to uh, give you a very brief introduction about the city of Shenzhen. Uh, first of all, this city is uh, the neighbor city of Hong Kong. It's much easier to be uh, memorized because uh, actually we are now uh, it's a metropolitan area. Uh, a lot of uh, cooperation, also a lot of competition, uh, which is good. And uh, Shenzhen is also the Chinese first special economic zone uh, 30 years ago, uh, uh, you know, so with the uh, opening up policy, uh, Shenzhen became the, the pioneer and the pilot of the, the Chinese economy. And of course, uh, we have a reputation of uh, a couple of uh, titles, uh, such as the city of innovation, which the new town could focus much on, and the city of design, so we want to make the city more uh, creative. And of course, we are so-called one that city. So here is uh, some uh, very much uh, you know, dynamic pictures of the city. So actually, 30 years ago, a small fishing town, uh, not too much uh, uh, urban activities, not too much population. But right now, so everything changed. So it's a big city. It's a metropolitan. So one thing I would like to, to point out is that uh, at the end of this year, uh, the GDP of our city uh, might suppose the GDP of Hong Kong, uh, which could be a very much uh, milestone event. Uh, so a lot of uh, uh, flaws could be explored to discuss about the, the relationship between the two, two cities. So we are very much proud of uh, uh, producing many international a giant companies such as Huawei and uh, Tencent and uh, BGI, and those high-tech companies was born in Shenzhen, growing very fast in Shenzhen, and I, th I think that could be some connection with the the, G the I think DNA and the gene of the city, so which we uh, concluded as uh, openness, greenness, innovation, fashion, and the future. I think that's what exactly we are working on that. So right now, I would like to talk about uh, today's topic, the new town, which I'm working on. So the Guangming New Town, uh, so 30 minutes drive from uh, the downtown area, uh, similar to Armia to, to Amsterdam, and also a very key developing area of Shenzhen. So I think uh, when we uh, look at the new town, so we come up, up with uh, some very key factors on the geographical and the ecological and the industrial. I think those three points could be the, the major uh, topic we need to uh, work very hard on. And uh, I think the in China, we have uh, numerous new towns. I think the Chinese uh, urbanization uh, movement could be the one of the most significant uh, urbanization movement in, in, in Manhattan history. So I think it's, uh, during the, the, the past 30 years, a huge change has took place. And the new town, the new urbanization could be the, you know, the, the, the focus. So we are lucky to enjoy a, a couple of uh, national 
new town demonstration area such as the uh, ecosystem, uh, green building, sponge city, and the recycling industrial model city, uh, so on and so forth. And those, I think this uh, could be a very good context for us to, uh, to, you know, to watch, to look, and to work on this new city. I think also a lot of social and the government investment could took place. Uh, so actually, that's one of the most important, uh, I think, uh, reason we are here to look forward, forward to having more uh, communication, cooperation in the future. And those pictures are the uh, architecture design for our new town in the, in the, in the coming years. So I would like to take a few minutes to talk about the exchange and cooperation between the, the city of Shenzhen and the city of Armia. So and now we saw the action two mayor of the city of Armia, and actually the, what the, the one mayor, one mayor, the same guy of Shenzhen, and uh, I think we can figure out the very close relationship between the two cities, and uh, we are very happy to establish those kind of. Uh, uh, relationship which could be beneficial for both of our cities. And of course, uh, the, the Guangming also a very important uh, new town of Shenzhen, so we are very much pl uh, pleasant to, 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 to host the, the delegation from the, the city of Aramil and uh, the new mail. So uh, actually it's uh, less than one month ago. So we had a chance to, to, to host, to have a meeting with the, the new mayor of the city of Armeo and, and his delegation. So here is the, the picture I would like to, to talk about. Um, I think the relationship between the city of Armeo and the city of Shenzhen, I think, depends on uh, you know, the relationship between the NT and the Guam New Town. And uh, thanks to the great job, the great efforts made by Linda from Inti, we know this uh, wonderful institute, we know these wonderful cities, uh, very similar to Shenzhen, and we are very much eager to establish the, the, the connection with the institute, with the city, because we can learn from each other, and we can have more exchange and cooperation. So those pictures demonstrate the cup of workshop organized by NT and the city of Guangming. And I would like to say those workshops turns out to be very successful and very productive. And we are very much satisfied with our cooperation and collaboration in the, in the, uh, in the past years. So uh, I think so, a half a year ago, uh, we signed, uh, uh, I think it's a, uh, Agreements uh, with NT in terms of the, the the planning, consultation, cooperation framework. I think this is a five years uh, cooperation agreements. So we are uh, working on that. So I think the just like the the, the ladies uh, uh, pinpoints the top priorities in the new town, the future new town. I think the I think the, the top number one. It should be the cooperation and collaboration. So I think we need to exchange uh, knowledge-based, and uh, there, there, I think only the exchange and the cooperation and communication could produce a uh, fruitful you know, outcome for, 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 for all the new towns in the world. So I think we, we come here, we attend this International New Town Day, I think uh, and, uh, we are going to complement our five years uh, uh, cooperation agreements with the NT, uh, with the industry team. I think also, also demonstrates, the, I think, the, the importance and the significance of this, this uh, cooperation. So I think we are also very much looking forward to the, the 2022 20, uh, Flower Expo in Armia. So we got news uh, from the mayor uh, last month, uh, and uh, we're uh, uh, very much uh, looking forward to take part in these events. I think there could be another 
excellent platform for our exchange and our communication, our collaboration, not only between the, the, the Guangming and, and also uh, between the, the, the new towns in China and the, uh, and, and the city of Armia. And in China, actually in China, we have had uh, uh, also some uh, new town federation association uh, connecting together, so we, we can also introduce those new towns uh, to take part in these events and to communicate with uh, this International New Town Day. So that's what, what I wanted to talk today. Thank you for listening. Thank you.